for today's game. Two incredible Hello. Dangerous Welcome back to another ready to create problems for the opposing defenses today. in this matchup, Phil. Today, quarterback there I'll be going like over. having a good tight end because you know why? Darren Lee. Close to you, so it doesn't take a great Darren Lee, the linebacker. Five or six yards Me. from where you're at to a Ohio State you catch it nowadays, and not only Darren Lee with a two-year starter. He about he 10 or 15 started, extra yards running. Uh, his only two seasons he was on the team pretty much. Lynch lined he up was, the single He back. played two seasons the in take it Ohio. And uh, was extremely productive in both seasons, I will say. Coming down to over two seasons, he had 146 tackles, 27 of them for a loss, 11 sacks, 3 interceptions, and 3 forced fumbles. Also, 6 foot 1, 232 pounds. Uh, totally forgot to throw him in my starting line. Uh, let, me, let me do that real quick. After the play. The one who made the big stop. All right. Well, you have good teams. So let's just let's just do this. I'm dumb. I put him at left outside. No, did I make him right? I think I did make him right. I meant to make him left. Oh no, there he is. Okay. Darcy blows. Side, you can make okay. Just like this, you can get in the backfield Ooh. and tackle the running back for a loss. Again, Darren Lee was an extremely that. productive player. The Seahawks take it from State the 23. Okay. But has got it and a first. Can you start doing that, cat? All these great yeah. tight ends in the NFL can start, now. Can start think of the NBA. How you really feel? Power forwards who said to heck with that. They oh, want to be pass All right. catchers, and they're good Let's at it. Two tight ends on he the was field here. a 2015 All American the and, and was a second team All American. And, able to build up that and that he was a back. freshman to go. All American in 2015. That's a short game. That last running play was good for only overall. Yard, so Darren Lee is. I have Darren Lee rated as my third ranked outside linebacker. Once more. Which and pick up about four. Sounds good, but again, he's my fourth you rated overall like linebacker. And you show Cause again, it's still there good. Is no I think Darren Lee is good. Good. Darren Lee is actually really good. I think overall he has you know, a lot of talent. He has the production that he wants. Thank you for that play, Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost but a week. And again, he has the music again. production. Well, he has the talent. The defenders, I'll give him a, you know, a little and again, I think that so he is a, a very good player. So, athletes in open space, and that being said, let's get into the You're going to grab the face mask. As always, we will start with the throws. And my first pro. His reaction time, you gotta be which is you gotta be kind of shown by his three interceptions, and I believe, I didn't write it down, but he had four uh, fumble recoveries. He has extremely good, you know, reaction time and all those things. This is something you obviously want in a linebacker, whether it's be dropping back into coverage or rushing the pass. If you want to run the football, reaction time is an extremely val valuable, valuable thing. Don't listen to the fans. Keep stop. running it. Stop making fun of me. I know you're making fun of me. Stop it. Stop it. As we get the second quarter right. underway, the offense heads to the line for the seventh. So again, overall, Darren Lee is an extremely talented player. And his reaction time is kind of one of the reasons why. He's a, he can make a play and he can diagnose a play a lot quicker than some players. There's a flag out. He's so, in for the touchdown, but hold on a minute. Next, There's a his quickness. Down. There's a flag He's, away from the You football. know, he has great footwork and foot quickness. Now, and after the he, penalty. He uses them extremely well. And he just overall... He, He's quick. He has decent speed. Wilson's gonna take Again, good quickness, gun. good you know, hand speed, all of those things. And they can't connect. Next. The Seahawks really don't have Wilson. much of a chance okay. of picking up. Good man coverage. Down. It's third long. He's much better in man than uh, he is in field. zone. They're all over get to, but his man coverage skills lead. aren't that bad, which is highlighted by his solid quickness and speed. He can cover, you know, running backs and tight ends. 
coming out of the backfield because he has, you know, pretty darn good speed. And Peterson's it's not amazing. got it now. That was damn. And that's a game of But, again, his man coverage is extremely good. Well, not extremely good, but it's good. And it just... That's another pro. God, I don't know. Stop it. Now from under center. <laughs> and lastly, he is now here's a very good edge rusher. And it's Although he's definitely not the best edge rusher time. at linebacker in this class, down, the NFL have to he is like really good. And, and he, you know, he like can make plays. He can, he can push the pocket. He can do all of those things. Tackle like a linebacker and stop that outside run. And that was bad. Pass is intercepted. <laughs> Oh God! The All right, got to keep getting on that. Field. It wasn't a very productive possession but for them last time. He's really good coming around the edge, and that's kind of highlighted by his quickness a good and you know, his footwork and all those things. Got some knowledge by watching the defense. And what he has all of those things that you really want in an edge rusher and even a run defender. But there are some cons that kind of about three yards a carry on the day. Second and three. That being said, let's get into those. With first, his balance. He is knocked over very easily Lined because he doesn't the have the greatest balance. He's a bit, you know, top heavy and his, his first reception his balance. Today. God, that I is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh man, I feel like quarterback idiot. loves guys that can make catches like, like this, and they're just, just so strong. They know how to really zero in. They never lose but concentration, and you never again, drop a pass. His balance is a big issue. He's going to get knocked over extremely easily because he doesn't have the best balance. Off the mark there, incomplete. So he has to try and make a second Gotta effort. Give the secondary and again, credit. Try and this passing league like now, it's hard to make plays. But a good play there and another incomplete pass. Next, he's not Second the hardest hitter. Ten. Like at all. Doug Baldwin with the ball. He is overall, he's not an amazing tackler. Either. Are hard to fool on the Although he has a lot of tackles, he does try and do a lot of arm tackles and you know, grabbing the ankle by the you know, ankle by the Tackles. There's a lot of tackles. But from the gun. He, uh, you know, he tries to grab people. He uses his arm, you know, arm tackles. He tries to grab them by the ankles and by the shoes. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little which he needs to improve on, and that also leads into him not being a hard hitter. Although he uses his, you know, hands to strip the ball, he doesn't use his power when he hits. So he's not a very hard hitter, and that will, you know, which will allow some bigger running backs and receivers to run right through him. So I think he has to become a hard hitter. We've had some good coaching so far, some good play by the players. Man, nothing but positive feedback so far in this and game. And lastly, his zone coverage. About 24. It, although his reaction time is actually very good, his zone coverage isn't. And I think it's obviously something that can be improved on. It just has to be First something that's improved on quickly. Because if he becomes a liability in coverage, he won't be starting for very long. But... With all these things being said, I believe that Darren Lee is a mid to late first round prospect. Let's go, let's go. Again, I think that there are prospects that are much better than him earlier on in the draft at his position. Leonard Floyd, Miles Mann, Lizzie But that doesn't take away anything from him as he is also extremely talented. The Cardinals but come out with a split. I feel like Palmer's got his, in the gun. His teams that will, will be interested will start to drop off at about That's his first reception. We'll start up today. at 18. What a nice catch. Drop off at about 20 and not pick up again. That being said, let's just get into the uh the offense the teams is set starting the with for the first down team at 18 that in completion. the Indianapolis. Indianapolis needs to find a player off the edge, whether it be a pass rushing man outside or someone like him, uh, Darren Lee, who, in my mind, is a balanced player but isn't the greatest in coverage yet. I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end. And Indianapolis needs to find starters and a lot of positions. And outside linebackers, Robert Matheson, we've got a close dream hands, friends. They need to find some people off the edge who are young and give them some. As we continue in a moment. And some youth. At the 18 yard line. Next eye Buffalo. Rex Ryan can definitely find a way to use this guy and get him to his fullest potential. 
And First down at the 18. I believe that Buffalo probably needs a starter at every single position at out, uh, uh, linebacker. Charging as ahead. Kiko Alonso is not there. And, you know, uh, the Cardinals look pretty confident out there on the field. Oh, man. The guy who just left in free agency. Calm, they should be You'll know who I'm talking about, but right I can't think of his name off the Don't top look my head. down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. Palmer's now completed Next, four in a row. I have a bit of a drop, and then to Cincinnati. Looking to go up top. Cincinnati. Uh, First down. He's drilled. The outside linebackers are getting up their knees. I'm pretty sure uh, they started. Like Vincent Ray or whatever it is. After the like 35. Pass, it brings up second down. So I think they need to find some the new Seahawks outside go linebacker. With the dime formation here and on Darren Lee can be an injection to the taking it on the screen. Next I have the Green Bay Packers. Situations, a lot of if they want to keep Clay Matthews on the inside, on then they need to draft an outside linebacker to fill in his position. spot. Pick up a Darren Lee is again, an extremely good player, but he just needs to find some. He has to develop just a little bit more. Man, great. And I think the Green Bay defensive coach is today. not one of the best, but a, still a very solid one. And they'll find a way to keep this kid to fix his zone coverage issues, make him a better tackler, and all of those things. Next, I have Kansas City. Justin Houston being hurt and Tom Bahal Lee's age starting to get catch up to him. They need to find a replacement outside linebacker. And although Justin Houston is extremely good and they have a guy in the back in D Ford who they still have to, don't know if they can really trust. The Cardinals, they believe in I think that getting Darren Lee get the is, isn't in their best interest, but again, they need a position as he is there is down. and again there is a need because Justin Houston is not going to play this season after surgery Tom Hall he's age is catching up to him and lined up in the I don't know if this team really believes D Ford can be a starting out that linebacker and, Sherman nearly had the and lastly I have Arizona with this they team starting down here in the red area. Uh, I gotta this team the has Lamar credit, Woodley Emmanuel Ancho who is thrown. It's is good, but not great. There and knock it down. Third at and right, 11. and then at left outside there, starting Dwight Freeney. This team needs to find a young player who can be a, a difference maker. That's Darren Lee could step in and be a day one secondary. starter on either side, Everybody's whether it be left position. or right. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And, and overall will be incomplete pass. a new starter. That was in a nice a long drive by coach. the offense that time, and it stalls out. But good job by the kicker coming in and putting three points on the So, all that being said, I believe that with the 29th pick in the 2016 NFL draft, the Arizona Cardinals will select Darren Lee, linebacker, the Ohio State University. My reasoning, with this team not having very much youth at outside linebacker other than Emmanuel Ontel, they have to find someone to replace both Dwight Freeney and Lamar Woodley. The who I don't They'll know go nickel. If it's First down the at the 22. Right but I'm just going off the roster in this, and both of those guys are starters. One of the better talented tight ends in and the And overall, they need to find some players who can make differences and gets a nice linebacker. Darren Lee is a guy who can step in and start day one, although he needs to become a better tackler. He will. He can learn. He had a great coaching staff at Ohio State. I feel like he honestly would have benefited from maybe staying back. Always good to have these types of runs. But he felt he was ready. I think he is a good prospect. It shows everybody that you probably would have been a higher draft pick if he stayed and refined his skills. So many other things for your offense. So I don't know if they really want to finish playing this game. This is actually really short. Looking to throw, and that pass is just thrown away. I don't know. That's all I really have to do. I'm looking too much about him. It's third down coming up. Kind of ripped through some of this stuff. The Cardinals defense Meh. now is going to go to uh, the give. Coming up next will be Jalen. Johnson's there to take him down. Lynch is able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the That's power the and game. the will to make it happen. Third short. Oh. He just gets it done with uh, sheer willpower. Yeah, Jalen Smith, the uh, guy from um, Notre Dame. 
So he'll be my next and last the line fourth quarter is about As of to the get day I'm recording this, there are seven days left game. till the draft. This one's been fun to call, partner. On the 27th, sure I will upload my final player, which will be Kendall Fuller. Games where there's a I lot of pressure on the calls, pressure on the players. Actually, might be McKenzie out And it's going to be a fun finish. The final quarter underway now. More I learned about them. Going deep. And it's So, but... I got seven days. I got six players to the go through. The quarterback is going to hate himself um, tomorrow today, when he watches this tape. Today, I'm recording this. I'm uploading Ricky Because you Bradley. only get a chance for this big plays in the NFL second. about three or four and times a game. The that one okay. just went by. The fourth will be. And ten. The fifth and will be. And Lynch with the grab. And they advance the oh, ball. Oh, no. I might not be able to make this. Jim, if the receiver is open, throwing the football because huh. here's just a good example. If I upload this catches thing, the football I short, to, if he can just break the tackle, here. they can pick up those extra yards. Good job of the quarterback and receiver that time. Third and two. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. The Seahawks continue to battle, but they haven't been able to oh, figure out how to run the football. To cut off one Lynch of my has been backs. given touches, but he hasn't done much with it. Uh, handoffs. Well, what you do on the offensive back. side when you're not running it well, you just keep fighting. Can fighting. Can in the NFL, well, toughness can win out I think I'm like while you keep trying either. to run the football. The Seahawks coaching staff, they have been. This will be up on the today. They are tomorrow. keeping everybody off balance, even this. me. I thought for sure they would run the football. But no, they Galen Smith will be on the 23rd. Galen Ramsey will be on the 24th. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. Nice job that time by the defense. Yeah, four will be up on the 27th. Nowhere for the running back to go. Uploading my mock draft. So about to snap it. I might move my mock draft to the 28th, but I think it'd be better off if I put it up on the 27th. Third so I can, you know. Another carry here. But I don't know. I lost this game. I don't think I'm going to be able to win. So for now, this is Jay Wax. Well, you get a couple first downs on a drive. Signing off. Of course, it makes.